Kuramoto, K212 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Jill. One kaka'ako man is keeping his neighborhood clean a little bit at a time. He says it's his way of giving back. Stephen Florino has his story. If you live in Kaka'ako or drive through the area, you've probably seen Carl Nakao. He's the guy on his skateboard picking up trash. It's unconventional, yes, to say the least, but I guess everybody has their own way, right, of expressing their joy and gratitude to God. Nakao is a spiritual man. The retiree lives in the area, goes to his brother's church every morning, and after a workout, he's on his skateboard picking up what he can. A lot of trash by the bus stop, you know, people <laughs> waiting for the bus, drinking yeah, yeah. their drinks, and then no way to throw it, right? He's just vibing to whatever is every morning. He's just fun to watch, going back and forth and just chilling. His efforts aren't going unnoticed. Many of the businesses and residents see him around and wonder. You know, she asked me point blank, it caught me, it kind of caught me off guard. She asked, what's your story, Carl? And I, I just couldn't come up with the words, so I, I just told her, oh, I'm just taking care of the Aina. Nakao says he rolls around for about an hour, hour and a half every day, all throughout Kaka'ako, even as far as Ala Moana Beach Park. And he says he's picked up some pretty interesting things. Diapers. <laughs> oh, I find money all the time, which of course I donate to the church. Yeah, mostly cans, a lot of bottle caps. I leave the cigarette butts low, you know, <laughs> that's gonna be endless. Nakao knows in the grand scheme of things, what he's doing is just a drop in the bucket. But he says even a waterfall starts with just one drop. You might ask, how can just one person picking up rubbish make a difference, but this is, isn't about just one person. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Just kind of picking up after, you know, yourself or anybody else to just be a little bit helpful every day, keeping it clean in the environment for everybody. Nakao's been cleaning up for about six years now, and the 64-year-old doesn't plan to stop anytime soon. <laughs> as long as I can. Stephen Florino, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. How inspiring is that? Oh my gosh, I think yeah. I have tears in my eyes. Wow, that's so sweet. What a heart on that man. I know, right on, Carl. Still ahead, a Hawaii man becomes the first native Hawaiian appointed as a White House fellow. Plus, Vegas is no stranger to implosions, but the plan 